In this integration question, the integrand is secant square 2x divided by cosecant square 2x dx. To solve this question, let's first simplify the integrand. Let's convert secant and cosecant into sine and cos. Now secant x is reciprocal of cos x while cosecant x is reciprocal of sin x. So instead of secant square 2x, we can write 1 divided by cos square 2x. So this becomes 1 divided by cos square 2x and we can replace cosecant square 2x by 1 divided by sin square 2x. Now whenever we have fraction upon fraction, so these two get multiplied divided by this uh, divided by in the denominator we have product of these two. So 1 multiplied by sin square 2x is sin square 2x and cos square 2x multiplied by 1 is cos square 2x. Now our integrand is in the form sin divided by cos. Sin divided by cos is tan x but we have 2x so this becomes tan square 2x. Now we cannot take direct integral of tan square to simplify it to find its integral we need to convert it into secant square. Secant square x minus tan square x is equal to 1 or we can write secant square 2x minus tan square 2x is equal to 1 that means if we take tan square x to 2x to other side and we transport 1 to left hand side we get secant square 2x minus 1 is equal to tan square 2x. So we can substitute, substitute this tan square 2x by secant square 2x minus 1 dx. Now integral of secant square x is tan x. Instead of 2x, instead of x we have 2x. So its integral is tan 2x but since there is coefficient of uh, x in the question which is 2, coefficient of x is 2. So according to rules of integration that coefficient of x will come in the denominator. If it was simply secant square x then its integral is tan x only. But since it is secant square 2x its integral will be tan 2x divided by 2. So this 2 is the coefficient of x which we take in the denominator minus integral of x 1 is x plus c which is constant of integration. So this is our final answer which is 1 by 2 tan 2x minus x plus c.